In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of the best zone beaters in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it allows you to stay up to date with everything that we have going on right here on our YouTube channel. All right, guys, so I'm going to be breaking down a play from the Gun Bunch tight end in this video. Uh, we're going to be talking about the play uh, Mesh Corner. Uh, and, the, and, and the reason why I want to talk about this is because this is a very, very effective uh, zone beater. It doesn't really matter what they're doing zone drop-wise. We're going to hear you see we have some, some kind of standard zone drops. You know, we're just going to be working out of this 3-3-5 odd uh, formation. But um, it's really, really easy to set this up. Now, I have a full Gun Bunch tight end ebook out. And so basically, it's a complete entire offensive guide that walks you through step by step how to run this offense. If you want to get that offensive guide, I'm going to put a link to it in the description below. And it's just 15 bucks. So if you head down to the description, um, you'll be able to get that link and be able to go pick up that offensive guide. It's just $15. But in today's video, we're going to share with you just one of the plays. But the ebook has several, several setups. It also has, you know, kind of some game film breaking down, you know, why to do what, why to call what, when. Um, so if you want to get that full offensive guide, it's in the description. All right, so we're talking about the play mesh today. And all we're going to, it's actually really simple how we're going to run this. Um, we're going to put the triangle receiver on a, um, on a vertical route. You see he's just going to go on a streak. And the tight end, you can leave him on his drag if you want. But what I'm gonna what I'm gonna recommend is I'm gonna recommend that you take him and you put him on um, you know some type of like flat route, and then I'm gonna put the running back here on a smart route option route. What that's gonna allow is it's gonna allow us to attack the flats on both sides of the field, while also maintaining a pretty nice little middle route against zone with this option route as well as this corner route to the left side. So all we're going to do is we're going to motion that corner route out. We're going to snap the ball kind of right before he sets, and you're going to see that this is one of the probably the best way, um, in my opinion, right now to just work and manipulate cover three. Cover three is not going to stand a chance. That corner route is going to be open every single time. Let me show you these. Let me go down so we can show you the the 25-yard um, the 25 yard cloud flats. Again, we're putting our – R1 receiver, which is our running back, on a smart routed option route. We're putting our X receiver on a flat route, and then we're streaking our triangle receiver. And we motion him out again, and as you'll see here, even with those 25 zones, they're not going to get to that spot. It's a very nice little dot. Most people don't run this play enough. This play is a phenomenal constraint theory play that is going to help open up things for things like PA boot over, things like tight end corner. This is the play that you want to be running to kind of open everything up in your offense. And as you can see, it's just very, very consistent. Now, one popular adjustment out of a cover three defense is to go ahead and deep half the outside guys. Um, deep halfing the outside uh, corners here is not going to be effective for this specific play, okay? Um, it's actually gonna make it a lot worse. You're gonna see you're gonna have a lot more open space, and I mean, you can see right there, it's an easy dot for your quarterback. It's, it's really not that hard to hit that. Now the thing that, the other two options that they can do on their corners out there is they can put a, you know, kind of run like a Tampa 2 style of setup. And I will say that Tampa 2 um, is gonna do okay. You'll see here, if they're 25 yard cloud flats, they're not always going to get there, okay? They do right. They and that's where it depends on you as the quarterback to be able to m properly motion snap this. Now, 25 yard cloud flats do a decent job here, but again, if we make sure that he's in motion and we give him some space to run, if you have a good gunslinger quarterback like an Aaron Rodgers or a Brett Favre and Mutt. This is going to be a nice little option for you to be able to hit this because, um, again, it's all about it's all about kind of the pass lead. If you can get the pass lead down, and basically if you see them, you know, kind of right in front of him, you're going to pass lead down and away, almost low ball it. And as you can see, you can kind of catch that. Now, if they have acrobat, I probably wouldn't throw that. But if they don't have acrobat, if they're just a standard corner out there, you know, that's going to be a good little read for you. Then the last thing that they can do as far as defensively to stop this is they could. They can run. Um, they can. They can run some outside quarter zones. So I'm going to play some cover four on here. 
with some purples. Uh, you see here we've created kind of a cover four defense. Um, and I want to show you kind of what happens. Now, cover four drop does okay. It's interesting how this works. Um, cover four match defense will take that corner right away, but it's going to leave some other things open. But you'll see here, this is that cover four cloud or cover four drop. Cover four drop's not going to stop it. As you can see, you're going to be able to hit that. It's, it's a very easy throw. Okay. Now, let's say they do run cover two on you. Uh, one thing you can do if you're getting a lot of cover two is instead of streaking the triangle receiver, you can streak the circle receiver, and then you could take um, you could take your running back and basically put him on a wheel route, something like this right here, and then maybe put like your tight end on a curl. This setup is fairly good against cover two because you can now attack the middle of the field, as you see right there. I can kind of get up the seams. The one problem is, as you can see right there, the safety does get in the way. Um, that's where you're, that's where unfortunately, like if you had like a tight end apprentice and you could put the tight end on a corner route, that would be perfect uh, for something like this. You know, the problem is that we've, we've got to get the safety out of the middle of the field, really, is that that's really the, the problem. Um, with this concept. So if we can get that deep blue safety on the right side to get out of the way, um, you can see here this little low ball right there is wide open over the middle of the field um, if they're running some type of Tampa 2 situation on you. Okay. Now uh, I want to go over the other side of the field as far as zone coverage real quickly. And let's say they're running kind of a base zone coverage like a cover three. You're going to notice that if that's a five yard curl, hook curl you can basically uh, pass that over the top of those linebackers if those guys are set at five yards. So if they're only set at five yards, um, that's actually going to be very effective. Now let's say that they're running. Let's say that they're running Mabel coverage. This is a really really good way to beat Mabel coverage. And the reason why is because that flat route to the tight end is going to do a good job of pulling all the zones. So again, you have your same concept here. And if you take a look here, you've got a nice little 15 yard, 10 to 15 yard curl route to that running back that is now coming open. As far as man coverage goes, this play is not great uh, against man coverage. There's a couple things you can do to make it a little bit better. The first of both is to put, instead of putting flat routes out there, put out routes out there. So if you put these little five yard out routes out there, neither one of these guys will get pressed. And those out routes will typically be a fairly decent read against the man-to-man -man coverage. As you can see on the left there, it beats man. On the right side, the cool part about this bunch tight end, the reason I like bunch tight end so much um, is because of the fact that the circle receiver is in a really kind of wonky alignment here. Uh, and as you can see, he's not going to get jammed. That's going to allow you to do a lot of good stuff like throw zig routes, throw slant routes, and have a lot of success against man-to-man -man coverage. And then obviously the route that we haven't talked about that is probably the best way to beat man-to-man -man coverage is that smart routed option route to the running back. There's no zone drop that they can put with that that's going to defend that. And as you can see right there, it's in a really, really good position. So that is the play mesh from Bunch Tight In. Uh, I want to thank you for watching this video. Also, if you are, um, if you like this video and you want to learn more about the Bunch Tight In, if you want to learn my complete Bunch Tight In offense, um, I'm going to put a link to that ebook in the description. You can pick it up down there. It's just 15 bucks. Also, if you wanted to get a free one hour sample video of the Bunch Tight In, all you have to do is text the word Madden to my cell phone number, which is 208-218-6900. And I'll respond to you with a playlist that has that bunch tight end video in that playlist. So you can check that out uh, if you'd like, no pressure either way. But again, if you wanna get the full bunch tight end offensive ebook, it's available for you in the description.